situation. And hi, everybody. So, as you can see, we're continuing our multi week uh, movie theater thing. Here's what we did last week we made the, the light box for the movie posters. And what we're going to do today is make a brick wall to put this on. So, this and we've got all of these guides so what I did is I made square I used the canvas guides to make square well the 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 canvas is square so I put in 20 rows going up 20 rows going down and putting gutters in between each of the the rows and columns to so where we can put our mortar so what I'm going to do right now is start here up in the corner. I'm not going to go here because I don't know exactly how big to make it in, in the, the corner. So what I'm going to do, I've got the, is it the rectangular, rectangle tool in the path. And go in the top corner of that do two blocks and we're going to switch to the direct path selection tool hold down the option move this over to here and we'll go into 100% so sure we're lined up good one again put that actually isn't where we want to put this one we want to put this one half a block one block away instead of two blocks click on this one hit the option yeah so we're starting with our Brooks. So what I'm going to do is make another copy of this one and move that over here. And we're going to back up a bit. Go into highlight all of them. These blocks. Click the option to, to uh, copy it and hold down the shift to keep it parallel to the other one. Just hold down the shift key to move across. And we'll just a couple times. Alright, so we've got Alright, that's not keys we'll copy I'm copying one more brick and then move that over here to finish it off so if we go back that we've got two rows of bricks and all we need to do is highlight the whole thing with the selection tool key again and the shift key move this down to here back up in the full thing click off do the whole thing so we're gradually getting faster and faster as we're making copies guides 
was so much fun. Um, I guess I should probably talk a little bit like Bob Ross was making happy little little bricks. So we've got all these brooks here. space and fill it with our mortar. Now we'll do another layer and get everything and we're going to make red bricks out of all this, all these paths. So what we could do is That's pretty monochromatic, so we're going to go back. We're going to do a second color, which is the deep red, and that should be about right. And we're going to the uh, gradient, because when you, you do use fill in in the paths thing, it, it fills in with the tool you have so if I had a, the brush brush uh, chosen it would fill it up as if the brush but since I've got a, it as a gradient it'll fill in as a gradient
there's not a lot of, it's sort of a flat brick wall. So one thing we can do is we can do some, put some FX on it. We can add a little drop shadow. Let's reset the default. We'll just bring it down to the bottom just a little bit so we've got a little, a little, uh, some, a little bit of depth to it and we'll spread it out a bit. take this layer of our movie poster box, duplicate it, over to our three-way brick wall, we can bring down its size a bit. things and we can put three movie posters in here so oh but also what I wanted to show you is we'll do a new we'll do a new thing and you know like like in the 60s and the 70s they they'd have like cute little things outside of buildings like it's trying to tell you what's inside so what I figured we can do is do a little make a little film strip so there'll be like a, a design in the brick wall that looks like a film strip now this should go pretty quickly so we're gonna use the rectangle tool again and make a the sprocket uh, sprockets on the sides of the film and we'll just make it 100 by 100 rectangle and then we're going to copy it
paste it in front, go to free transform, and we've got the delta button up here put down so without it on its absolute placement on the on the the uh, in the screen in the white place. But if you hit the delta, it'll be the the change change relative to where it is. So, like for example, if I put in a Y delta of a hundred, the copy will go down and it'll be attached to the the uh, last one. But we don't want to do that because the, if you remember how the movie movie film is, there's there's whole it's holes in a piece of of film. And the holes aren't side by side because if a hole is side by side, it's just one big hole. So instead of 100 uh, delta, we'll do a 150, no, 1150, but 150. Hit enter a couple times to get that down. Okay, and cancel. And then we'll go back to black arrow, click both of them copy both of them, paste both of them, get the change, and this time, we did 150 last time, but it's if we do 150 again, the first two, instead of being over top of each other, the uh, it would slide down one, so there's one at two places. So, instead of doing 150 of a delta, we'll do one 300 which still gives us a 50 in between the first one and the last one, but once again, less work. I guess this is the first time we've mentioned it. Anyway, so we'll highlight all four, copy it, paste it in front, hit the free transform, and how much is the delta going to be this time? Well, we did 150 the first time, 300 the second time, so yes, you're so smart, 600. So now we've got uh, eight sprockets, but let's do uh, let's do another double that again. So copy V and instead of six hundred, oh, we gotta do a T and the delta. So we did one fifty, three hundred, six hundred, twelve hundred. There we got the sprockets on the side. So, we're going to go back, we've got one side of the sprockets all down, go back to the rectangle tool, actually we're going to go, because it's not really the, well, figure we're going to have some round, uh, round rectangles for the, uh, for the, uh, the actual film frames. So we did 100, 200, 300, 400. We got one. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. So let's say we want four frames each. A frame for each four sprocket. So that's, there's, it's 600 uh, pixels along the four. So let's say, just click here and click some. So let's change the width 
600, so we're going to do 1,200 this time. So I need to highlight the left hand toggle or sprockets, copy them and paste them, and this time we'll do the delta T. This time we'll change the X position. cells, the sprockets along the side, all we need now is a the film that all of this goes on to. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll save the work path, we'll call it Y, right, and then we'll go back to the rectangle tool but we're gonna go re rectangular and not rounded rectangular and Select everything, then hold the shift and unselect that. Put a new layer in, hit X to switch to the white, and fill those with white. And we've got ourselves some film stock. And let's see, we'll make a copy of this to go. is going to add a smart object because like you remember last time if you don't put in a smart object and you move things around it's going to mess up the what the image looks like we're going to do just looks like you get a film on on top of a brick wall but if you change the blending of it if we go to multiply the uh, the outline of the film strip goes over the uh, the bricks which is basically what I was looking for to turn the opacity down but what we're gonna do is Blending. So, of course.
course you can't see it because I haven't figured out how to put it on OBS. But if you move the move the uh, underlying layer a bit, let's bring up the other colors. design on our plain brick wall with our movie poster things and that I guess would be all we have for today uh, I know you're on the edge of your seat with what all that I'm doing but uh, thanks for showing up and I'll be back next week and we'll sort of take what we've had we've made so far and put it on the facade of a building. Uh, and then we'll get into putting some movie posters in the light boxes. But that's for another day. So thanks for watching, if there's anybody out there watching. And uh, see you next week. Bye.